Uh, I want to talk about your new, you have a new show with uh, Steve Martin? I do. It's on Hulu. And, you know, what, what Hulu is doing, which I think is very savvy, is going after that coveted 70 to 95-year-old demographic. So uh, it, it's called Only Murders in the Building. And this show is kind of like Steve at the urinal. It, uh, it streams for 42 minutes. <laughs> Uh, Marty, have you talked to Steve at all during the pandemic? Well, I, I've certainly talked on the phone. I've tried to Zoom with him, but but he tends to stand in front of a white wall and he just blends in. So there, there's a sense of, you know, <laughs> chatting with a ghost. That's tough. You know who's on our show tonight, by the way, is um, Randy Newman. Ah, Randy Newman. Randy Newman's a genius and and was the co-writer of Three Amigos. Yeah. Three Amigos, the script was written by Steve Martin. Lorne Michaels and Randy Newman. And Randy, of course, wrote all the songs. And do you, do you remember uh, getting that script? Is that the first time you met Steve? Yes. Uh, uh, um, I was being considered for Three Amigos. You know, you know, everyone had, you know, Carrot Top had passed. Believe me, I wasn't the first choice. But I remember going to, I'd never met Steve. And it was, I had just finished a year in SNL as a cast member. And I had a one year contract. So that's, um, I was now no longer do the show. And it was May uh, 1985. Oh. And I went to his house, uh, his old house in Bedford Drive in Beverly Hills. And beautiful house. But when you went inside, you couldn't believe what you were seeing. I mean, it was just because of the artwork. You know, Steve's a major art collector. Yeah. And you'd see there was a Picasso there and a Hopper there. And I, the first thing I said to Steve was, how did you get this rich? Because I've seen your work. <laughs> and, uh, and he said to me, can you try to get the script to Martin Short, please? <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Do you remember yeah. we were at Steve's house and we were doing a bit? I forget what it was. I think he was coming on the show or something. So we did a bit where... We pretended I got really wasted at the dinner and got in a fight. Yeah, yeah. And then there was one shot of you, like, <laughs> with your shirt up, just screaming at people, and, and we're like this. And the last shot was you just passed her right on my lap. <laughs> yeah, shirtless and passed out. I was like, yeah, we had fun. And I think the bit was like, yeah, we had really fun time at that dinner yeah, party. Yeah, fun time. I went to see Martin's house. I couldn't believe it. We've had so many fun dinners and fun, and fun nights out. Do you remember going to uh, Orso? Did Lauren leave? We went to, um, yes, it was dinner with John Alexander, Lauren Michaels, you and me. And then Lauren, I guess, had to leave to go back to SNL. Oh, yeah. And we had the most hilarious night. And there might have been a cocktail. And uh, then at one point, you and I went downstairs. We went to the bathroom, and then we're now in the hallway down below at Orso, and we're doing Dueling Robin Williams. That's right, we're doing. Oh, 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 get down, man. Yes, yes, oh. yes. Uh, we're both. Uh, we've got and we were so loud that the Mater D finally leaned over and said, He thought we were having a fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. You remember going out with, uh, with Paul McCartney and, and Lauren? Oh, my God, yeah. Was... Was, and then we ended up in the polo lounge, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we sang a song with the uh, piano. Yes, we sang a song at the end. And Paul, Paul felt it was one of the great boys' night out. <laughs> it was I really good. He's had some good boys' nights out, yeah. Do you remember, it was, I'll never forget this, it's the best bit I've ever seen. We were at uh, it's an Italian restaurant, really delicious. Um, I'm going to forget the name of the restaurant now. Not my with, with Paul, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think, isn't it Medeo's? Medeo's, that's exactly right. So we were at Medeo's and, and so... We're kind of in the corner and we got Paul in through like a different entrance. He came up through an elevator underneath so no one saw him. And so he's kind of sitting there uh, with Lauren in the booth and, and it's Paul McCartney and so I'm there. And uh, I think Lee Eastman was there too, having dinner with us. And, uh, and so we're just being cool that Paul and you're like, and you come into the restaurant. It's the best movie I've ever seen. And you come in and you go, Paul, Paul, Jimmy, <laughs> Paul, L Lauren. Lauren, Paul, Paul McCartney, are we, ah, oh, guys, hi, there you are. And you were banging the table. I pretending I couldn't see you. <laughs> it's a small restaurant. It's the funniest bit. God, there's Jimmy, so Lauren, Paul, 
<laughs> it's like 10 tables. You can see it. Ten tables, I know. It was so well done, man. Martin Short, I love you, buddy. I'm going to. I, I, I can't wait to see you. Be safe. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.